Hi, everyone. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today we're finna do this sunset glam beat type situation going on. I know it's been a minute. I usually film my video every week, but I didn't film one last week. So I'm filming this week, but I guess it really hasn't been a minute, but it kind of has because I'm not used to that. I'm off schedule, like, but I explained all that in the video, what's been going on with me, why I didn't post a video last week. Yeah, but um, I'm back. I'm back and I'm better. Let me back up because I want y'all to see my shirt I got in New York. You still can't see it. I need to sit on my legs. There you go. Y'all like my New York shirt go watch my new york vlog if you haven't seen it but um yeah this is the look that we're gonna be going for today to show you how to get this look i'm gonna talk a little bit or a lot yeah i think that's all i have to say yeah i'm gonna just quit talking and i'm gonna go ahead and let y'all get into the video so as always if you want to see how i achieve this look then keep on watching hi everyone yeah i'm back as you can see, um, it's been like a week or two. I usually post a video like once a week, but it's been like a week or two since I posted the video. But I'm filming today and I'm gonna do my makeup. I don't know what to do, but I wanna do something like dramatic just for no reason. I don't wanna keep doing like, I have a um, tutorial up already on my like everyday makeup routine, like the same makeup I do every time I get ready just to go anywhere. Um, and I don't feel the need to keep filming that every time I do my makeup or whatever. And I'm pretty sure y'all get bored with seeing that unless I change my routine or change my products or whatever. So I'm gonna do a different look today, probably a cut crease or something. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're gonna do that today. I can't think. Oh, update on my hair. Here, I'm wearing my natural hair today. I'm giving the wigs a rest a little bit just to let my natural hair breathe. Make sure I'm still taking care of my natural hair. My edges aren't falling out because we don't need that. We can't be, we can't, we can't do that. So yeah, um, I washed my hair yesterday. Let me tell y'all why I haven't been filming, first of all. Let's start there. So I started filming a video last week, yeah, when my sister was home because we were supposed to, what is that? I was gonna vlog us getting our first tattoo. And I was so excited about that. We were gonna get matching tattoos together, me and my twin. I don't know what video I mentioned that in that I had a twin, but anyway, if you didn't know, I have a twin. We we're gonna get matching tattoos last week while she was home from school. Cause um, we used to go to school together. We'll go to the same college, but I don't want to go there anymore. So I just came back home. So she's still up there, but she came home last weekend. We're supposed to be getting our matching tattoos. And we've been trying to film this video. Why do I keep brushing my eyebrows? We're supposed to been film this video and we've been trying to get this video done, but it just hasn't been working out. So last week we finally got the chance to, you know, go. And we get there, like I'm filming, like I don't film the intro, like I've been filming. I filmed when I got to the place. I filmed all the little, they work on the wall, whatever. We get up to the desk to ask these folks, like, yeah, we're here to get a tattoo, whatever. And they told me about some, we booked for tattoos today. And I was like, okay. And I don't know anywhere else to go. That's the place that my cousins had recommended to me because I don't, you know, I don't want to trust everybody with no sticking no needle in me, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't know where else to go. So we were just like, well, we can't film it. And I was mad. Like, I was for real mad. Like, I was like, bro, I wanted this freaking tattoo today. I wanted to get my first tattoo. I was supposed to be filming it. That was supposed to be my video for this week. I didn't have no other video planned for that week. I mean, I could have did my makeup or something. But that really had me mad. I was like, bro, I don't even want to film no more. Like, I don't even want to film like a different video, like a makeup video or something. I don't even want to do that because I was mad so I was like bro so this week I was like okay I'm gonna film a makeup video this week well I took my dog to the vet um last Thursday I don't know what day that was it doesn't matter but I took my dog to the vet last Thursday he got his shots or whatever his third round of shots he only has one more round of shots to go until he um doesn't have to come back for another year I told them that um he had fleas I know they give you like a little pill or whatever flea pill so I was like okay cool and my other dog that stayed at my dad's house I know one of them has had the flea pill before. But she had told me at the vet, she was like, okay, it might make him throw up. Like, he might throw it back up when you give it to him. So make sure he take it with a lot of food. I was like, okay, cool. He eat a lot anyway. He greedy. He big. Like, my dog is fat, y'all. Like, he eat too much. He greedy. I was like, ain't no problem. Uh, he eat a lot anyway. So I let him eat a whole bunch of food and gave him the pill. And I read the instructions on the pill. And it said to um, monitor them for about an hour to see if they throw it up. And if they do, 
then you're gonna have to give him another dose. And he was fine. He did not throw up. He didn't throw up. Like, I monitored him for an hour. He didn't throw up. It had been 24 hours and he didn't throw up. So, it was a little bit past 24 hours. Maybe 28, 28 or maybe 30 hours after he had had the pill. I gave him the pill on Monday at 6 o'clock. I let him out to eat again for the last time at 8 o'clock on Tuesday night. And he didn't eat, so I was like, okay, maybe he just ain't hungry because he be eating a lot. So um, I was like, maybe he just ate too much the last time he ate. So I was like, whatever. I put him put him back in the crate or whatever. Just so happens, um, this is why I feel like everything happened for a reason. It just so happens, like, usually I don't really stay up all night long. Like, I probably stay up till, like, 4 in the morning or something like that. But, like, all the way till, like, you know, sunrise and all that. I usually don't do that. Just so happened that night. Hold on, y'all. I can't talk and do stuff at the same time. Oh my dang on bullshit. Like I was saying, y'all, it just so happened that that night I didn't go to sleep. Like I was working on some business stuff. Another reason I haven't been filming, I've been working on a lot of stuff for my business and I got a bunch of ideas coming. I am releasing my new lash styles soon. And my website, my website will be launched the same day I release my new lashes, so y'all stay tuned for that. And I will also be releasing some new products um, in the future. But anyway, that's a different story. Anyway, I was up all night doing like some business stuff. It just so happened I stayed up all night that night. I didn't go to bed and I would go out, like I would look out the, um, like I can see him through a little window or whatever. And I would look out there every so often to see what he was doing like every maybe hour or maybe two hours i would get up and go see what he's doing and you know he was he was cool for a while and then one of the times i got up he had pooped in the crate which um he ain't really all that potty trained yet so um that wasn't no shocker to me so i went out there cleaned it up or whatever put him back in the crate so then i look again it hadn't even been a whole hour and he don't if he poops he ain't gonna poop again for like a while and it hadn't even been a whole hour when I went and checked on him again. And it was hella poop in the crate and vomit everywhere. And I was like, and I was looking through the window. I was like, oh my God. So I went out there. I was like, what's going on? And he was just laying there and he didn't even say nothing. He hadn't been barking or nothing. And I was like, what the world? So I was like, okay, I got him up. I just cleaned it up. I was sitting on the ground on the steps outside after I had cleaned it up. And he came over there and sat, he like curled up and sat on my lap, which he doesn't do. He doesn't like to be held. He don't like for me to touch him. He don't, he, he bougie. So he don't like for me to do that. So um, he came over there and covered my lap and I was like, is you all right? I thought he might've just been sleepy or you know, I might've woke him up. Cause, but every time I went out there, when I checked on him, he hadn't been asleep. So I'm thinking he'd been up all night or maybe I had just woke him up when I went out there. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe he was sleepy. You know, he just wanted to lay down or whatever. I was like, okay, you know, I just rubbed him or whatever. And he um just kind of laid there and I put him back in the crate. And I was like, hmm. So I, that was a little strange to me because he don't never let me hold him like that. So I was like, hmm, either you sleepy or something wrong with you. Don't know why all this vomit was in the crate. Maybe it was the pill, the flea pill. Even though it's been past 24 hours, why why is he reacting this late? You know what I'm saying? It just didn't make sense to me. So I was like, okay, maybe that's not it. Maybe he ate something. He done got into something. Uh, I don't know. I was just like, maybe he just didn't feel good or whatever. I went back out there again like an hour later. He hadn't thrown up anymore. He hadn't pooped anymore. His poop was solid. Like he ain't had no diarrhea or nothing. So I went out there again. I let him out. He was like, usually he like flips a shit when I go out there and let him out. Like he'd be so excited. And he didn't do nothing. Like he didn't, he wasn't like jumping around. He didn't even move. Like he was just laying there when I walked out there to go let him out the crate. And he just kind of, you know, slowly walked his way out the crate. Usually he runs out and jumps all over me and all that good stuff. He didn't do none of that. So I was like, something wrong with you. So I sat on the ground again. He can't. Y'all hear him? hear him howling he do that when the ambulance go by what did i say last i cannot multitask so well, i don't know why i'm trying to tell a story and do my makeup at the same time this video is gonna be long i'm gonna run up my camera battery it's gonna be dead before i even finish oh yeah i sat on the ground with him again after i went out there a second time just to let him out just to check on him because i didn't know why he was throwing up and um you know he just kind of like he wasn't excited he wasn't jumping around and i was like something wrong so he came back again i sat on the ground he came back and curled up in my lap again and i was like oh you need me. He usually act like he don't like me. I was like, oh, him thick. So I just kind of sat there with him for a while. Let him lay there. And he kept like dozing off to sleep while he was like, he like nodding off while he was in my lap. So that's how I figured he hadn't slept all night. Cause like, like I said, every time I got up to check on him, he was awake. Like he, he hadn't been asleep all night long. And he usually sleeps through the night. I think he hadn't been asleep all night. Cause maybe he wasn't feeling good. 
or whatever. So he kept trying to fall asleep. So I, I just sat out there for a while and let him try and go to sleep because he hadn't slept all night. Eventually I got up and put him back in the crate. Just so happens that day, the vet is closed. Just my luck. I was like, I can't do nothing. I can't take him to the vet. And I was just going to try and let it pass anyway because it hadn't been a whole day yet. And I was just going to see like maybe the flea pill might have upset his stomach or something. Maybe it'll pass because, you know, sometimes when I be on uh, antibiotics, when I get sick, make me sick, and it'll go away overnight or whatever. And I'll be fine. And also, he still wasn't eating. He didn't eat at all Tuesday. No, he did eat Tuesday. He didn't eat after 8 o'clock on Tuesday. So he didn't eat after that. He didn't eat all of Wednesday when I got up. That was the morning. I had stayed up all night and it was Wednesday morning. He hadn't ate all day, all Wednesday. He didn't drink no water, nothing. I was like, you gotta, you gotta eat something. Like you gotta drink something. I can't have you like dying on me. You can't be doing that. You, you not drinking no water. You not hydrated. Like you ain't eating. So I was like, bro, my dog is gonna die. Couldn't get to the vet. Vet was closed on Wednesday for whatever reason. So I tried to wait it out all day anyway, just like maybe it would go away. He didn't eat all of Wednesday. I even tried to give him some of my food that I was eating and he liked to eat my food. Didn't want it, he wouldn't eat nothing. And then he started like, when I was holding him one time, uh, when I was sitting out there with him and I was holding him in my lap, he jumped up and ran off to like a pile of leaves that was outside and dug a hole and he just started throwing up, but it was nothing coming out but like white foamy stuff. And I was like, what's wrong with you? Like, I didn't know what to do. I ain't never seen that, I was like, and I was here by myself. I was like, hell. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. And like the vet was closed. I was like, bro. So I was going to watch him for a while. Maybe it would pass. He didn't eat all day long. I watched him all day long. He didn't pee. Like he wasn't peeing. He peed like one time I let him out and pooped. And his poop was solid. Thursday morning, I got up, took him to the vet. Like as soon as I got up, I took him to the vet. Um, that morning and I was like yo like y'all gave him this pill and he not eating like he's not eating like y'all kill my dog like what is this like why is he not eating like y'all said he might throw up um within the first hour it had been past 24 hours like why is why is he not eating like what is wrong with him he's not eating he's throwing up like foaming at the mouth and stuff like it was like he's not eating and i was like no he's not that's what i just said they go back there and get some food or whatever and try and feed him i was like i just told y'all he's not eating like what are you doing i need you to like run some tests times are ticking like i don't have time for him to fall over and die on me like you know what i'm saying he has ate since tuesday evening and it's thursday he hasn't ate since then uh, he ain't ate a piece of nothing like he ain't drinking no water or nothing so they're like okay um i don't know i was like you don't know what they gave him a shot or whatever some shot to settle his stomach and they said if he ain't feeling better to bring him back i was like okay so i took him home he didn't eat when we got back he slept all day long he was sleeping like all he would do was sleep since he had been sick he would just sleep all day wouldn't eat one drink to sleep my eyebrows look terrible but i really don't have time to just keep doing this so he was sleeping all day thursday after the vet so i got up um when it got dark it was like six or seven o'clock and I went out there. He went over to his bowl. Like he actually ran straight to the bowl. He usually, he wasn't doing that at first. He ran straight to his food bowl. He stuck his nose around in it and he didn't eat it. And I was like, I really thought he was gonna go over there and eat cause he ran to it like he was hungry. I know you hungry, you ain't ate since Tuesday. He didn't eat it. So I went over there. I was like, okay, I know you want it. You just ran over here. Well, why won't you eat it? So I put it in my hand and let him eat it. So he came and ate it out my hand. After that, he was going in. Like he went to the bowl himself and just started going to town. He ate a whole bunch. I was like, I didn't kill him. I'm not a bad mother. I was on the phone with my sister. I was like, he's eating. Like I had a fit. So that happened earlier this week, which is why I didn't get to film. He finally got better. Thursday, he was better. It's Saturday now I'm filming. Then I took my brown wig off. Well, actually, I had been to that wig off. I was walking around with my hair in twists. All at the vet and everything, just looking toe up. Sometimes you gotta look toe up when you child's sick. Yeah, then I was like, well, I can't film looking like this. Like, I can't film my hair looking like this. And so I washed my hair yesterday and I had said I was gonna give the wig a rest for a while so my edges don't fall out. You know, I don't go bald headed. We don't have time for that. We're not gonna be bald headed. We don't do bald headedness over here. We're not doing that. We're finna, we're promoting hair growth. Hair growth all 2020. Y'all, it's been like, how long have I been filming? And I've only done my eyebrows. Like, I'm like, this is why I can't film and talk. Cause I'm running up my camera battery just sitting here talking and I ain't even did nothing. Yesterday I washed my hair Friday, put in a bun, laid it down. Y'all see the waves. 
Yeah, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna get up and film today. So that's what's been going on with me. Um, what y'all been doing? I know y'all can't like talk back to me. This ain't FaceTime or nothing, but y'all can comment. And then I had like a whole bunch of like, I'm in school, mind you, uh, but I'm an online student. I'm still in college. So I had a bunch of work at the beginning of the week and I was just all over the place with that because he was sick, my dog was sick. And then, you know, all this going on, and I had a whole bunch of work to do. I was like, bro. So I was just like, I'm not gonna film. And hopefully somebody will understand. So I'm just now getting around to filming. After I got all my schoolwork done, the dog is feeling better. I washed my hair. I got some business stuff done. We making moves this year. I got some stuff in store. And I'm just so excited. Like, I cannot wait to drop it. I can't wait to launch my website. Like, ooh! I'm trying not to talk so much because I cannot multitask. Like, I be sitting here doing the same thing, just talking, because I get lost in what I'm talking about. And I just sit here and do this for two minutes straight. And this the concealer is already on there. Like, I don't know why I'm sitting here keep piling it on. Then my eyebrows, probably my eyelids. So now I'm gonna start on this eyeshadow. I hope I can finish this before my camera try and die on me because I hate doing that and I have to wait for it to charge and it takes forever to charge. If you know, if you have a camera, uh, if you're a YouTuber, even if you have a camera or whatever, you know it ain't enough um, battery life to do a whole face of makeup. At least not no like dramatic look. That's gonna take a little minute. I might have to stop and charge my camera and then start back filming again. I really don't care to do my natural hair just cause it's just a lot to deal with. Sometimes my hair is really thick and um i have a really tight curl pattern it's just a lot to deal with sometimes so i really don't like to do my natural hair um and i really didn't like plan on doing natural hair videos on my channel at all because i'm not really into natural hair it's not something i'm just like super passionate about of course i take care of my hair like i'm not bald headed as you can see but i'm just not into it if you like my sister is more into it than me like she like the way i am about makeup and wigs that's how she is with natural hair but she's gonna make a channel i think soon her hair is waist length now like when it's straightened i didn't plan on doing no videos like with my natural hair but i mean i've done one when i want to curl my hair like when i when it was uh when i when i that you um you had you 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 could you do why can't i talk when i blow dried it i had even said in that video like i really hope y'all don't ask me to do natural hair video after this because i'm really not into it but i guess like if y'all want to see it i'll do it i mean y'all are the ones that watch my videos and y'all are the ones that i make videos for so if y'all want to see that then i guess just let me know this is like the only styles i do is this a braid out and a twist out that's it and i can't even do my own braid out because i can't i can't uh cornrow and i don't want to do it with plaques like you know what i'm saying i feel like it turns out better if it's cornrow my mom has to do that for me Cause she's the one that breaks my hair down when I do my wigs and stuff. But um, I can't do my own braid outs and I don't want to keep like asking somebody else to do my hair. Cause I know how much everybody hates to do my hair cause it's so thick. So I just don't want to keep bothering everybody by doing my hair. Only two styles I do um, that I can do myself is a twist out and this bun. I don't like how my eyebrows look and I'm really mad about this. I don't like this, but it's just gonna have to do. Like, why do they look like that? Maybe because I'm talking and I'm not really focusing. Like, what is, what's going on right here? What, what is this? Do y'all know, like y'all that have a Canon G7X, that's what I film with. Do y'all know how to get it to keep from cutting off? Like it cuts off every, like after I've been filming for 16 or so minutes, um, it cuts off and I have to turn it like, I have to start the video back again. Like, how do I keep it from doing that? Why be doing that? Like, that's aggravating. Or is something wrong with my camera? Like, do I need to take this up with Best Buy? Like, do they need to hear from me? Do they need to see me? I'm really over this makeup look already. Cause like, my eyebrows ain't right. The whole makeup look is over. It's over with. Like, pull the plug, cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. Whatever, we're gonna keep going cause I don't have time for this. So this is the palette we mainly gonna be working with. Zulu palette by Juju's Place. And then I just need some black from another palette. But really every color you need is gonna be right here, I hope. This palette is a mess. Like this one shattered and I thought I fixed it. I guess I didn't. I don't set my concealer. Your colors pop more if you pack on your eyeshadow while it is wet concealer i guess you don't want it to be set with powder and dry your color is gonna pop as well like that and that's not what we want okay i'm gonna take this i can't even pick this palette up and like show y'all what color i'm using because like this like i told y'all this color right here is broken and all this gonna fall out if i like tilt it i just hold it like this but i'm gonna take this purple color right here okay i'm 
I get all my brushes off Amazon, by the way. I just call it a blending brush. I'm pretty sure that's what it is anyway. Make sure when you swapping colors, you swapping brushes. So now I'm gonna take that same brush and just fluff it out. I'm in my sister's room, by the way. I set my makeup stuff up in here the other day because I was in here watching TV in her room. Because TV in my room, be at, like it be trying to blow up or something when I plug it up. Like the thing be sparking when I plug it up. So I don't be, I don't, I ain't finna um, blow up. We're not doing that. We're not finna do that. So I come in here and watch TV in her room, catch up on my shows. I don't even watch TV like that. I just watch it to watch the have and have nots. If you watch the have and have nots. I F with you. I set up my makeup stuff in here because I was going to do my makeup while I was watching TV because I was bored. But then I got so into the show that I was like, ain't no way in the world I can do my makeup and watch this. So I just didn't do it. And I left all my makeup stuff in here and my ring light. So I was just like, I'm going to just film in here because I'm not going to move all this stuff back to another room. It's already set up right here. So now we're going to take another brush. This pink shade right here in the middle not the cracked up one but we are going to use that one i used to use that pink eyeshadow for blush actually but we're just going to use it to blend out the edges of this purple i don't have enough eyelid space because i got two more colors i want to add and i don't think i'm having enough room for all that you know i don't like doing my makeup on myself i want to do looks like this i like to use somebody else's face with big eyelids or something because i don't have no space i don't have enough space to be doing looks like this and that makes me mad I think that's rude. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back over this purple again. Cause usually when you blend out your eyeshadows, your colors get lost. Or at least the first color you use usually gets lost. I'm trying not to go so far cause I still got two more colors I wanna add. And I don't wanna be off in my eyebrow. Like that's not cool. Okay, now we're gonna take our purple brush. Don't be using the same brush. And add that color back cause I lost it. And we're gonna take that pink brush again and put some pink on there and blend that back out just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna take another brush. We're gonna take the orange color up here. Yeah. Let's see if I can fit this yellow on here because I really want to do it. But I'm gonna have to use like a real small brush. So we're gonna take this yellow shade right here. If we can get it on here, if I can fit it on my eyes then. Y'all, I can't wait for my food to get here. I cannot stop thinking about it, I'm so hungry. I got a cheeseburger. No pickles, no onions, and a mixed chicken, no lettuce. And a strawberry shake. I love McDonald's strawberry shakes. I used to only drink Chick-fil-A strawberry shakes. Then I started drinking shake and steak. What? Steak and shake strawberry shakes. But I would get they um strawnilla. That's what I would get. Strawnilla, strawberry vanilla milkshake. I had Sonic and Sonic bought like um cookouts milkshakes. You can't get that stuff up through the straw. Like, why do y'all do that? Like why would you why would you do that like you know these folks can't drink this can you drink it like why would you sell that y'all need to um revamp y'all milkshake recipes it'd be too thick like you can't get this stuff up through the straw okay this actually turned out pretty good we done blended all the colors together i don't know if y'all can really see them because it's light but hopefully you can it don't even look like it's really showing up on camera but if it don't i'll just post some pictures in the end or whatever so y'all can see what i'm seeing because i see it in the mirror they really don't like it like they really don't look like the camera is picking it up when i cut my crease i just put the concealer right here all right here and then you go like then you go like this can you see and now you can see where you need to cut your crease at Okay, so we're gonna take our purple brush that we used to pack on our purple with and do this. Pack the pink on right there. I'm gonna 
gonna take another flat brush and do the arm. We're just gonna take the brush that we did on. Like that's what we're gonna do. Oh no, my camera finna die. I'm gonna do this eye. And then I'll finish this one when I come back with my camera charged. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, I already did the other eye. So I left off, we put the orange on. So now we're gonna take a little bit of yellow in the same palette. Like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take that, the little broken up shade. This is actually my first time using this shade, so I don't even know how it got broke like that. I think I dropped it, this one right here. Now we're gonna take the, um, this is another Juvia's Place palette, the Festival palette, the orange one. We're gonna mix this white shade and this gold shade, these little shimmery shades in here. Now we're going to take the black and the Morphe 35P palette. Okay, now we're gonna do our eyeliner. It's gonna have to do. So now we're gonna take the black eyeshadow again and go over the eyeliner. Where's my black eyeshadow? Like where the eyeshadow and eyeliner meet so they like blend together, you know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna move on to um, face. No, 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 we're not. We gotta do the um, glitter. Ooh, why am I sniffing? Does anybody else get to sniffing when they do their makeup? But I'm gonna put some of the duo lash glue on this brush so that way. It's like evenly spread out. I think my camera might have cut off while I was putting on the lash glue, but I put my lat put the I put what I put the lash glue on on top of that pink shimmery shade. I don't know what the name of these glitters are, but they're from Lux Glam Cosmetics. The names are on the bottle for some reason, but it's this gold glitter and this pink one. So I'm gonna mix those two. I'm gonna take my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the shade Deep Bronze. Take my rose water and my foundation brush and get to blending. Now we're gonna take that same concealer. Concealer I use on my eyebrows. Cool tan, LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm gonna take this Maybelline Fit Me Medium Deep Powder. Now we're gonna take the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark and take the contour shade and contour. Now we're gonna take that same powder again and cut up under our contour.
Now we're gonna take our foundation brush and blend this powder out. I forgot to contour my nose. Now we're gonna take some blush. If blush isn't a part of your um, makeup routine, you need to make it part of it because it really make a difference. I just used this red shade in the Festival palette by um, Juvia's Place for my blush. Now I can do highlight. Yeah. So I mixed the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlight and this Ofra, O-F-R-A, highlighter and Rodeo Dry. I'm gonna spray my uh, fan brush with some rose water. Do you see her? We don't need to do my inner corner because we've kind of already put that shimmery shade in our inner corner. Those two, that white and gold that I mixed from the Festival palette. But I guess we'll do a little bit. Now we're going to do our lower lash line. The yellow shade first. Then we're gonna do the orange. Then the pink. Then purple. And then black. Oh, we forgot to do brow bone highlight. So now we're gonna do black eyeliner on the lower lash line. Why does light go in and out like that? I'm gonna do a wing kind of on my inner corner. Boom, now we're gonna do mascara. I'm using Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension Mascara. I love this mascara. It's like the best mascara I've ever used. Okay, so I went ahead and put the lashes on this eye. And I don't have any lashes right now that's like dramatic enough for this look. So I just stacked two of the Ardell Wispy Lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the first lash. So there's one. I'm gonna stack the other one on top of it. I wish I had some of my lashes. Um, that I'm releasing, but they're not in yet, so. But you already know I'd be putting on my lashes if I had some. See, now it's fuller. Now we're gonna do lips. So I'm gonna line my lips with this Wet n Wild eyeliner pencil. It's brown. So boom, now we're gonna take this NYX lingerie lipstick in Teddy. I'm trying to do like a nude lip with a little bit of shimmer. Cause we don't want nothing too dramatic. Cause our eyes are dramatic enough. So this is NYX lingerie. I actually like this combination. I've never tried this. I did it on my sister when I did her makeup when she was home cause I was bored. But I've never tried this combination. I like this. New lip. Then I'm gonna take this NYX Duo Chromatic Lip Gloss and spring it on. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this because I just want a little bit of shimmer. See, well, I'm gonna just let y'all look. You see? And then I'm gonna take my regular Wet n Wild Lip Gloss, Clear Gloss, and go over it all this. Way. 
I think I'm gonna put like a little dot of red if I can need some red, some rosiness. That's better. All right, so we are done. This is the finished look. I don't think this camera is doing it the justice. Like the glitter and everything. I gotta need some different lighting or something. I don't know. I feel like this lighting is super weird. Ooh, my mom's here with my food. Let me go in the bathroom. I really want y'all to be able to see this because I really did my thing, if we being honest. But y'all saw the glitter just then. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if this was any better. I don't know if y'all can see the colors any better. If you can see it, then fine, but I don't know if y'all can see it or not. I can't really tell, but I feel like it's a little off. Okay, bye. Yeah, that's it. That is the finished look, this little glam. I use like sunset color, so I guess like a sunset glam. This actually would be really pretty for prom, using these colors. Like using these purples and oranges and pinks. It'd be really pretty for prom with this glitter. If somebody had like a purple dress or like a pink dress. Yeah, that is the finished look. Ooh, my necklace is tucked. I hate when that happens. Then I'll be walking around and nobody tell my necklace tucked. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. And make sure you have your post notifications on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.